Look at that great quality. Who's got that great quality? I got that great quality. Who is that great quality? Not that great quality. Anyway, I'm just kind of celebrating that my quality is now good. So now you guys can see my face a lot clearer. Because I know everybody wants to see my face a lot more clearly. Oh boy. Anyway, my bass guitar will hopefully be fixed by tomorrow. If not, I'll be playing my um, my square. It won't be too big of a deal, hopefully. Uh, either way. So we only have three. I only have three topics to talk about, but they're big and they're general. And oh god, it might take a while. Maybe I don't know. Um, so yeah, what is happiness? Whether liberty is greater than happiness? And construction versus nature, which has to do with social constructionism. Um, so. Yep, let's get right into this. So, what is happiness? Utilitarian's defi- I mean, there's- the Utilitarian definition of happiness is basically the absence of pain or the excess of pleasure in reference to how much pain you're feeling. So, for instance, under this definition, if I'm, um, <coughs> that cough, that cough that just happened, um, I certainly had more pain in them than I had pleasure. Therefore, I, would, I was not happy when I coughed because I had more pleasure than pain. How can you exactly measure pain and pleasure? Well, there's no exact scientific way to measure how happy you are. There's no scale or meter or anything like that. Of course, you can make up a scale, but I don't think there's any universal, uniform scale that you can make up um, that will like scientifically or universally apply to everything. Um, so I think that's one of the problems. But um, anyway... Um, so, happiness under that definition, I, I mean, I'm not sure if that is happiness, but I mean, that seems like a pretty good definition. Um, so I'll stick with that for now, I'm not saying it's right, but I'm saying that's, when I thought of happiness, I thought of utilitarians, as you do, and um, I thought of that definition, and I think it, it fits alright, you know, I'm not saying it's perfect, I'm not saying it's the one I agree with necessarily, but it's the first one I thought of, and I think it's suitable for this video, so I'll use it. Um, so, just to clarify my position. Um, so what is happiness? Happiness is basically, um, you know, an excess of pleasure in relation to the pain. Now, the only way you can really confirm how much pleasure or pain is actually being filled is through basically saying, um, basically getting a consensus. Um, so, I think, I mean, I think there's certain arbitrary ways in which you can sort of more distinctly define happiness, but it's it's a very hard process, I, I would think. And, you know, um, happiness is a very tricky concept. Um, some people can be happy when they exert control and power from other people. Like, I was talking to one of my friends, and they, and they were talking about the Benjamin Franklin quote, um, the Constitution gives you the right to pursue happiness, but it's up to you to get it. Um, now, I think there's some truth to that, but also I was lamenting, well, happiness is so broad. You know, uh, if you have a right to happiness d due to a piece of paper, which I think is ridiculous, but rights aside, let's presume they exist and, and are enforceable and so forth, um, which I am right now, obviously, uh, for practicality's sake and time's sake. Um, let, uh, sorry, I was distracted. I thought I heard my phone go off. Um, so... If they, okay, so if, if you have a right to be happy, and what makes you happy is dominating other people, well then, um, well then shouldn't you have a right to control other people? I mean, that's what gives you happiness. Um, my friend argued it's more of a power thing. I said that could be true, but I honestly, upon reflection, I do think it, some of it does bring happiness to a person. When when a man rapes another woman. Uh, or when a man rapes a woman, um, it might be a lot about control, but I think some part of them might be happy that they can exert this control over them. I mean, feeling like you're in control of your own life is something fantastic, and uh, I'm not saying it's okay to rape because you feel in control of your life and so forth. Obviously not. But I'm saying, you know, some people say, well, you know, the general welfare may be increased, may their happiness may be increased by, um, by just... Um, by doing awful things that make them happy. Um, and then, so how do we draw the line between awful things and happiness, and, you know, how to, how to not conflate them? Now, I already sort of respond to this this sort of conflict and sort of criticism of utilitarianism. Uh, Nietzsche has done the most defined critique I've seen so far that was in uh, Beyond Good and Evil. Um, and, of course, uh, Mills has some, Charles Mills had some critiques about utilitarianism. And... I think that was it. 
But uh, most of the stuff I've seen is just in passing. It's not a serious critique. Or if it's a serious critique, it seriously misses certain parts of things. Um, so I don't think um, I don't think that the critiques have been that convincing, or, or the convi the. Uh, or the convincing arguments that I've seen, like for Nietzsche, Nietzsche didn't have that convincing, but I mean, he did, he had an all right argument, you know, as far as it goes. Um, and happiness, so I mean, happiness under this may be seen as a sort of excess of pleasure in relation to pain. How you can define this excess and, def uh, and deficient um, means of happiness and, and pain is basically based on the consensus, you know, what people think, you know. What, when people have experienced both things and say, well, that made me happy in relation to that, and don't do it out of any uh, obligation, moral duty, or anything like that, that is when they are being most honest, and that is also when they are being most, um, when, they are, when they are telling the truth most often. That's according to John Stuart Mill. Um, but either way, um, so that's my thoughts on happiness. Um, so see, it already took like five minutes to do that. So anyway, um, liberty versus, uh, is liberty greater than happiness? Or should we ha have liberty as a higher social value than happiness? Now liberty, I'm going to uh, define pretty briefly because I don't want, that's not the main crux, well it is a pretty good part of it, but it's not the main crux of the, this part, obviously. Liberty is basically being, uh, uh, is having a moral agent, a rational, uh, a human being, um, who is a moral, rational and moral agent most times, um, unrestrained from illegitimate and arbitrary rules, guidelines, and demands, and basically constraints on their, on their bodies. So it's basically um, people being, uh, people, individuals, liberty is the, in the state of being unrestrained by illegitimate and arbitrary um, demands, laws, and guidelines, and basically out um, environments, artificial environments. So it's there's sort of an artificiality about tyranny and stuff. It's very s imposed and very top down and so forth. Um, so that's what the point I'm trying to get across. Hopefully that's okay. Um, if not, I can try to explain it more in the comments and so forth. But um, is should liberty be hi uh, valued higher than happiness? Now, as a libertarian, you would think I would say yes, because liberty is my highest social value. But I don't think so. I think happiness is, should be the highest goal, um, because you can have all the liberty in the world, but it doesn't really matter if you're not happy with it. If you're, if people are unhappy with their liberty, they're not going to have it for very long. So therefore, I think happiness, liberty should result from happiness, not the other way around. You should already be happy and living your life as happily as possible, and as full of liberty as possible, but that should naturally progress from happiness. So in fact, I think happiness is a higher social value, but I think liberty falls right, either right below it, like right, right below it, or it just falls naturally. And if it doesn't fall naturally, then it's not true happiness for me. True happiness requires liberty for me. Um, so that, those are my thoughts on liberty versus happiness. Um, and I think my earlier thoughts about um, happiness and what it means um, would, would clarify um, and yes I'm, I'm, I'm like clicking around on my fa my Facebook and trying to talk at the same time. I really bad habit of doing this. I apologize if that ever like annoys anyone. Um, anyway, I go notification crazy. So the last part is construction versus nature and I will try to focus. Um, so construction basically means, and I don't mean construction as in construction workers, I mean construction as in socially constructed uh, norms, values, ideas, uh, ethical systems, etc., beliefs. Um, so whether we are more constructed or whether we are more natural, or maybe whether what we perceive is more constructed or natural, I'll, I'll go that route. So what we see or perceive, is it more constructed or is it more natural? I would argue it's more constructed. By now, Humans have heavily, heavily influenced, um, heavily, heavily influenced the world that we live in, and to such a point that most of the things we live around with has been artificially um, altered in some way. And that's not to say it's fake per se. Artificial here kind of means just change. I guess I shouldn't say artificial. Um, so bad terminology on my part. But I mean, compared to the natural state that the world was originally in, whatever. 
however you might believe that, whether God or, or the universe has created itself or whatever. Uh, that's that's a really, really big oversimplification of the Big Bang. So don't don't you know, don't think that's my actual opinion on it. But um leaving aside those, whatever it was, it was certainly a lot more real and um, not so constructed. Um, socially, I think our society is very much based on construction and not nature. Um, I'm not sure whether getting back to nature would be necessarily a good thing. I don't know. It depends on nature. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I have. Um, surprisingly, this still went for 10 minutes. So basically, I talked for like four minutes on each topic or something like that. Um, roughly. So anyway, I hope you guys like the better quality. Um, tomorrow will hopefully be, uh, yeah, tomorrow will definitely, I'll definitely have base covers. And I'll almost definitely have the bonus feature, which I shall do first. Um, and it'll just be showcasing my bases, show you how they sound. It'll probably be a different camera, uh, camera angle. I'll do a different camera angle, probably. I'll do it from like my bed or something, so you guys can look at all my bases and my base cases and stuff like that. Um, this is all, also this is this week is finals week, so next week I will be somewhere else. And if I don't do YouTube video for a while, I apologize. But um, I'm very uncertain about what's going to happen in the next few months. I'm dropping out of college, and um, too much financial pressure and too much too little practical things, unfortunately, because I'm a philosophy major. So that's going to be happening, and I don't know exactly what's going to be. Uh, going on with me moving. So if things are a bit tumultuous, I think that's how you pronounce the word, um, then, you know, I apologize, but there's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. So, um, alright, that's all the time I got, really. Um, I got other things to do, people to debate, things to read. So, thanks for watching. If you did watch this all the way through, I really appreciate it. Um, bye bye.